Hi everyone, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this 3D tilt effect to your card in your WordPress website. Now, if you want to learn how to create this from scratch, I have a video on that. We have used a library called Vanilla Tilt to create this effect. And if you want to learn how to use this in your Blogger website, I have a video on that as well. I'll leave the link of those videos in the description below. So let's get started. First of all, you need to log into your WordPress website. So I have logged into my dashboard. Now the next thing you need to do is install a plugin to add our custom CSS and JavaScript. So let's go to plugins and let's click on add new. And here we will search for custom CSS and JS. So there's this plugin called simple custom CSS and JS by silkypress.com. So just go ahead and install that. After the installation, just activate the plugin. And now here you can see we have a new menu called Custom CSS and JS. Now here we can add custom CSS and JavaScript code to our WordPress website. So let's go ahead and first of all add our custom CSS. So let's click on Add Custom CSS. Let's give a title 3D Tilt CSS. And let's go to our source code. So this is the source code. Let's go to style.css and I will just copy everything from here. By the way, the link of the source code will be available in the description below. Alright, so just copy this and paste it over here. And then here we have some options. So we'll just keep it as internal and we will add it in the header and in the front end. So everything is alright. So we'll just go ahead and publish. Now that's it with the CSS. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to link the vanilla tilt library to our website. So if you go to our source code and if we scroll down, we can see that we have a line here called script and we have the source of the vanilla tilt minjs. So now we need to add this line of code to our website. So let's copy this. Now here you cannot just add JS code. So if you just click on add JS code, we can see that we have to add the JavaScript code over here. But right now we don't have the code, we just have the link. And if you read the help over here, we can see that if you want to link a JavaScript file, then you have to add it as an HTML code and then paste the script tag. So we'll go to add custom HTML. And here we will type vanilla tilt JS. And we'll just paste our code right here. And uh, then here we can see the options of where we want to place the code. So it will be right in the footer. So we'll just select footer. And uh, then click on publish. So that's it with our vanilla tilt library. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to add a page or a post and then add the HTML code. So let's create a page. We'll go to pages and click on add new. I'll just give a title over here, our team. Now here you have to add the HTML code, but you cannot just simply paste the HTML code over here because the HTML code will be simply displayed on our page. So we need to first go to options and then click on code editor. Now here we can add our HTML. So let's go to our source code and uh, let's copy this tilt card container division. And uh, we'll paste it over here. Now we need to update the source of our images because the images folder and these images are not available in our WordPress website. So we need to first of all upload them to our website and then add the link. So let's go back to the dashboard. And we'll go to media and click on add new. And now here we can drag and drop our images. These are all the images we need. So I'll just select all and drag them over here. So our images have been added. Now let's click on edit on one of these images. And here we can see the file URL of our image. So just copy it. And then go over here and paste it in the source. And we'll do the same with the Instagram, Facebook and the Twitter logos.
So the first card is completed. Let's go ahead and uh, copy the second image. Now the Facebook, Instagram and Twitter logos are the same. So I'll just copy the links from here. Alright, all our images have been updated. Now let's go ahead and publish. And uh, let's view our page. And the tilt effect is working. The first image is not being shown. So let's go back to our HTML. And uh, we have a typo over here. So let's delete the I. Alright, let's update. And uh, let's refresh our page. And we can see that both the cards are working all right. So that's basically how you add a 3D tilting effect to your cards in our WordPress website. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.